Oh no, let's see which gets triggered first. Whether the form level gets triggered first or whether the record level deployment gets triggered first. Now let's check that out. So we have a record level deployment and also we have our another script which is form level deployment which is deployed on this particular form called as FateScript customer form. Now let's check which gets triggered first whether the form level triggers first or record level triggers first or only form level gets triggered and record level get ignored or not. In order to check that I'm going to navigate to list relationships customers and click on new. By default, I can see the form is being chosen as Sweetscripts customer form. Let's see whether we get the pop-up. I can see record level deployment, but that is not the case. Let's click OK. I can see the form level deployment alert also. So what could have happened here is form level deployment would have triggered first. And then it would have showed the record level deployment pop-up also. So in order to confirm this, let's switch to a different form. Let's say standard customer form. Now in standard custom form, I can just see only record level deployment. So I'm going to click OK. Now let's go back to our Switchscripts customer form one more time. As expected, I can see my record level deployment. If, if I just drag this bottom, I can see a form level deployment behind this record level deployment pop-up. So from this, we can clearly see form level deployment is the one which gets prioritized and then the record level deployment.